safer6.co.uk sponsors of the haze hour what was that the music when it comes on the music yes oh yes it'll be on i know i'm saying i'm bracing myself oh you want it louder no, no, me tools are already curled. Really? For, oh, yes. Oh, fair enough. Good evening, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. How nice it is to see you all sitting there enjoying the show, which I hope you will. Um, tonight is Thursday, the 20th, 26th. Uh, 26th. 26th. Because Keith had electrocution lessons when he was a young one. <laughs> I didn't. It's Thursday, the 26th <coughs> of September is what it is. Um, and this is going to be the here's hour in a while. Now, you will notice, Larry and Curly are here, but there's no more. No more. <laughs> no, no more. There's no, he's, Darren's not with us tonight. And there's a, there's a very good reason for that. After this show, mm -hmm. he's going to be broadcasting in a radionic fashion. Radionic? Radionic fashion on RY4 Radio. Right. Because he's discovered he's got a face for radio. Really? Yeah. So he's, 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 he's served his apprenticeship. Yes. And now he's going on to stardom and quality on our Y4 radio. All right. So when we're finished here, have a listen to Daz on our Y4 <coughs> radio and give him all the support you can. I think he's going to be brilliant. Apparently, he was spinning some main discs last night. So this is his own show, is it? Apparently, is it? yeah. All right. On for an hour? Well, I would think it'll be on for two hours. Chat will yeah. tell us. It'll oh. go on forever. Because you, know you know what he's like. He'll be scratching, DJing, yeah. stuff like that, all of that. There you go. You know, no feel his presence there. Um, you know, you can't, no, can you? No he, he, hasn't, he hasn't passed on. He hasn't passed <laughs> over. No, no, he hasn't passed over. No, I would hope not. No, he's, he's, he's still with us. We don't need to join hands. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Odin. Right. Contact the living or anything like that. No, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, Gillis has said, is he the chatty man of radio? Yeah, DJ Bobo on RY4. Bo. Something. Shall we do the show? So, I'll we'll never see his Bobo again. You'll never see his Bobo that's... again. No, have you seen it in the first place? Well, it's weeks since I've seen it, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure I want to go <laughs> there, if really? I can be honest. This, no, I'm going the advert. Right, right up. <laughs> too many punchlines, too little time, and I want to stay on the air. <laughs> we back after the title. There we go. Apparently, that's the smooth transition. Is it? Apparently. Oh. That's what it says here, and it just seems to cut, from what I can see. Did you know you'd been on the telly, by the way? Uh, I'd forgotten, actually, that yeah, I'd been you. on the telly. Oh, you'd yes. been on the telly yeah. in Sweden? Yes. Do you want to see yourself? Well, yeah, I am curious. Well, I'll that, say, yes. that, that being the case, I'll, uh, I'll play it. Yeah, hey, cig, eller elektroniska cigaretter blir allt mer populära i Now, Europa. We can Men talk over this because it's in Swedish. Och nu I guess the point would be yes. <coughs> talking about e-cigarettes. Det betyder att de inte längre får säljas. No, they, they understand <coughs> Swedish in Sweden. Right. Okay. This is like, this is like uh, team talk where they talk over the adverts. We're going to talk Hela over the article. Here it is, look, there you go. In his mind. There you are. E-cig eller elektroniska cigaretter har blivit David Dorns passion. I don't think you get any further away from a cigarette with that. Inget kan nog vara. Sen han tvärt slutade röka för fyra och ett halvt år sedan. 
Här är han med frun Jill och grannen Keith. When I go to bed, um, my e-cig goes with me and it goes on my nightstand, on my bedside table. And the first thing that happens usually when I wake up, my hand goes out, I find yeah, my e-cig. Nice. You yeah. used to be smoking. Yeah, that's that's oh, strong yeah. English there. Very much so. 60 cigarettes a day. You used to smoke 65 packs. a day. Värme från batteriet förvandlar nikotinet till olja. Uh, FMRL, I'm listening. How come the Swedes get so tight? Men utan gifterna från tobak. It is in every respect like a cigarette. You could use it the way that you would use a cigarette, but you're just not going to die because you're using it. You, it needs to go a little bit that way. So David förbereder kvällens tid. Like Han är förbundsfiguren för den kampanj som blir allt större här i Storbritannien för att rädda e-cigaretterna och förhindra att folk röker tobak. De syns på Twitter, på Facebook, på Youtube och gör egna webb-tv-sändningar. Det är också ute bland oh, beslutsfattare, som här, på plats i Bryssel här om dagen för att påverka EU-parlamentariker. Yes, för det är like. här som beslutet ska tas i höst, som en del av EUs <coughs> nya tobaksdirektiv. Enligt förslaget ska e-cigaretter no läkemedelsklassas, precis som nikotinplåster. Effectively, what you would say would be a ban on electronic cigarettes. And certainly they're not going to be as available as tobacco cigarettes, and that's a complete nonsense. I don't know who that fella is, but he's fucking easily as well. Wherever you can buy a tobacco cigarette. He's certainly making his point, isn't he? The fewer studies that are found on e-cigarettes point at different directions. Everything from that it's an effective alternative to nicotine plaster for us to stop smoking, to that it risks to be an entry port for young to regular cigarettes. So how would, say, a 13-year-old girl? Who never smoked before? React if she smoked that one. Oh, probably not well. This I is. I never said um, anything about a bra. It's I quite heavy. That, uh, not a thing. <coughs> if you were to ask me, <coughs> how would I feel about my grandson picking up a normal eating when he's thirteen? I wouldn't be that worried about it. Plötsligt är klockan nio. Jill ser showen från köket och följer den livliga chatten. And with me in the studio is Marlene Sierstad from SVT, isn't it? That's right. Och jag, jag blir plötsligt inbjuden att vara med för att prata om snuset i Sverige. I've never tasted, I've never tried. Really? Bra means good. Ordning och reda på morgonen. Sierstad, välkommen nu. Barbro Holm Ivarsson, du är psykolog och expert på just tobaksförvägning. We'll leave that there. Tack. Because after that it's all in Swedish and I haven't got a hope. But basically that lady that was on after was a psychologist. Who, um, who, who was basically doing what all the aunties do, talking about you know renormalisation and all the usual crap that you're coming out. Just answer a few of the questions that were in chat. Um, yes, they came to the house and filmed us here. This is the studio. This is where it all happens. No, the black walls are real black walls. It's not a studio effect. Um, yes, it probably is just as well that they didn't interview me, brother. Although apparently, when I was talking to Marlene off camera, um, a thick Geordie Brogue is so close to Swedish that they understand it. Who knew? Apparently, yeah. Really? Yeah, it's so close. A lot of a lot of Norwegian and, and Swedish and what have you, that kind of thing. Uh, oh, pardon me. They don't understand that particularly, but apparently that's international. So yes, it was all good. That went out in Sweden and apparently uh, the case was made very much pro e cigs by the bit I was in and then the psychologist went on and said no. So that's, you were on the telly. So that was on the sort of national... Uh, the Swedish the Swedish equivalent to the BBC. Oh, right, right. Whether that means they get lots and lots of money to waste, I don't know. Probably not. But yeah, all good. Mm. It, mm. Was, uh, it was quite interesting. It was, it was very, very interesting seeing how it all got cut together because I know all of the footage that was shot. Tell me, what brought them across in the first place? I haven't a clue. So you had no lead up to that other than a, an a direct to, phone call yep. or an email? Or email to say, can, can I have your phone number, I want to ring you, on Twitter. Gave her the phone number, rang me, and three days later, here they are. Yes, Big Craig has just said, Viking landings were at Geordie Land. That's why all over <coughs> this part of the world, you'll see we've got Viking men's clubs. Quite. Is that not why they're called uh, that? 
Yes. yes. Product Product 501 is, is wondering what our neighbours were thinking. Well, Keith was in here, so he wasn't thinking anything <laughs> out of you particularly. <laughs> but there you go. That was all good stuff. Talking about Product 51, he's written a perm. Is what he's done. He's written a perm. I'm going to read this perm out. Right. Are you ready for this? I'll go, in, I'll go into camera too, because I'm going to be looking in that direction anyway. And it goes something along along the lines of this. I'm going to try and do this in in you know properly good stuff. But he wrote this. It's called the choke I had. I used to choke when I awoke due to the smoke. I used to talk, but now I've changed. I've rearranged. Tobacco and I, we are estranged. So my new vice is less the price and involves a shiny electronic device. It suits my life and that of my wife and keeps us from the surgical knife. But now I hear the change is near. Our new hope may just disappear. EU politicians thrill that the TPD bill will get amended by a majority to nil. So MPs and MEPs need to be shown that vapors are voters and this must be known. You've told us your truth, but we've seen through your lies. It's time to face facts. E-cigs save lives. That's for product 51, that is. That's a perm. Very poetic. A very poetic. I like that. I like that a lot. And I think big round of applause from everybody in chat. That's brilliant, that is. Yeah, yeah. What I'm going to do when I get a chance, I'm going to sit down and take those words. I'm going to try and get somebody posh. Don't look at me. <laughs> <coughs> to do the words. And I'm going to put video behind it. Right. I think that would be a brilliant, brilliant video. Yes, Prodart is the new Dylan Thomas. Thought he played guitar and had a beard. Uh, oh, that's Bob uh, Dylan. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Sorry, sorry. Excellent stuff, that yes. Prodart. More, more, please. Good. More, please. Brilliant. We want that on on blogs everywhere. You can. I don't suppose it'll get on Twitter. Um, but there you go. Yeah. So Telly and Perm. It's like the South Bank show. This. Yes, that sort of intellectual touch. It, 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 yeah. Yeah, I say, oh, well, if we're going to go intellectual, dear boy, and uh, how have we been going with the electronic cigarettes over the last two weeks since last we met? How, how have things been? Very well, thank you. Oh, yes, good, marvellous. Yes, yes, uh, no, no problem. No problem, no, 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 it's marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. What do they please. call that guy again that does the South Bank show? Um, he, he got a... Um, Yes, he was made a lord, wasn't it? A Melvin lord? Bragg. Melvin Bragg, that's, that's him, yes. Melvin. yes. Yeah. Oh, somebody's <laughs> just said, I'm sorry, I've got to, got to go back there. It says, read by Brian Blessed. Yes. I wonder if we can get Brian to read it. That would be brilliant, Brian Blessed. When, he get, when it gets to the, Eating save lives! That line, would be a be. rugged presentation, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it just? Ah, Brian, blessed. And we could have you review it in the guise of Melvin Bragg, as they're saying on, on chat. Okay, and you could just turn, just turn to the camera, turn to the camera and go, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon's alive. Are you bleeding? Oh dear. Oi. <laughs> Sorry about that. Whoops. We might have deafened one or two people. My apologies. My apologies. I do apologize. Ap 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 I'm sorry. I'm telling you, the headphones on. Yes. Well, there you go. What's that from Nathan? Dave, I just had a college, a colleague. Look at me, stupid. Lol, I am in work. Aren't you the lucky one? I've been unemployed for three years. Well, so have you. Well, longer than three years. Called retirement, but never mind. <laughs> but let them listen. Let them have a look. Show them what's going on. Spread the word. Spread it large. Spread it loud. Be like that. Be all good. <laughs> Patrick Stewart, oh, that Patrick would be good. Stewart, yes, you yes. get to the end and just go, make it so. Yes. Number one. Funny Trickster's been hacked. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was that Gordon's Alive Loud? It wasn't that. Oh, oh, never mind. Um, see what happens when we start reading chat. Yes. I do apologise. We get sidetracked. It happens. I wanted to talk <clears throat> today about a few things. I wanted to go back and revisit um, while, while the opportunity presents itself the uh, this beastie oh, the caged beast the caged beast as yes. you call it um the the i test one three four one or two they're not even niggles right it's deeper set the uh the 510 connector 
of actually the ego connector is deeper set by the width of a nit on a gnat's nut deeper set than a standard 510 so what i've discovered toothpick into the the end just a little little tiny little finagle screw your device on all's good to go if you haven't got um an adjustable center pole on whichever atomizing device you are using um outside of that these things are amazing they're absolutely gorgeous I'll, do you want to have a hold of one key well i'll let you have a hold of one you can it's good that way i'm i'm thoroughly enjoying these i really am i've got a, a cracking on top of that and you want you want your thumb on the button because it's a crack and it's a genesis tank so you need your thumb on the button and they're just great Mm. It's nice. Very nice. It's very smooth. It's gorgeous. Don't tell me the battery's on its way out. Mm. That works really well. And Michelle Walker in chat has beaten me to it. She has beaten me to it, viewers. Because the mini. 134 is going to be coming out as a baby version of this uh -huh. a caged mini beast right a caged mini beast now just after i had much smaller i wonder well <clears throat> i would imagine that it's going to take either well is it going to take 14 500s or would it take 18 350s or 16 340s or something like that so it's going to be smaller but it's going to look the same and Funny Trickster is asking, will the Mini fit in Keith's top pocket? Funny Trickster, I'm here to tell you, no, it bloody well won't. Because, yes, I will be getting one. Because I'd quite like to get one for my wife. And you'll have a chain to the desk. What, the 134 on my wife? The 134. Ah, right. I was going to say I wouldn't get away with no, chain and jilt anything. I don't think you know, so. tried it when first we were married and I was told in no uncertain terms it's not going to happen. It's, well, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's not listening. Yeah, no, she's in the front. All right. She's going in the front, probably to escape the uh, the paint fumes, because this place stinks of gloss paint at the minute. Um, other things about the 134, it seems to take care of your battery quite nicely. Um, I'm, I'm tending to go, as the minute it goes to red, you've got another 20 drags or something like that in it, at, at normal drag length, not the two-second one that everybody quotes or tries to yeah. quote when they want to do a drag count um you've got about 20 drags left when it goes to red but i'm just taking the battery out on the first sign of red and, and putting it on to charge and it seems to be working extremely well in terms of, of checking the charge and everything else that's going on i love the way the button feels i've not dropped it yet it's probably just as well because i don't want a broken toe um it's working it's working extremely nicely um I don't often recommend anything, but I'm going to recommend so beautifully these. beautifully made. It's built mm. like a brick, sh brick, uh, sh brick yes. shed. It's built like a brick shed. Um, it, it, it's, what are we, two two weeks in? And it's just never dropped a beat. I like it. I like it a lot. It's good stuff. Extremely good stuff. As I said last time, I like the dial. Yes. That, that, that That's... Now, Michelle, Simplistic, that. Michelle Walker <clears throat> says there is a mini, a shorter one, and a mini narrow one. Now, I've been, uh -huh. I've been keeping an eye on the Inican website to try and find out what's going on, so I'm assuming that she's got more information than I've got. Michelle, tweet me up, Skype me. I want to know more. I definitely want to know more, because I love the form factor of those things. Liana Lawless, apparently, she says she loves a big one. Fact of the matter is, Lee, you didn't need to tell us that. It's all over the web. What juice have you got in this? Oh, RY6. RY6. RY6 right? in that. Yeah, but we weren't. It, it, the brutalness is saying all the info was at ECC. ECC's in America, we aren't. I couldn't get, I would have gone. And I haven't had time to watch all the video yet, but I will. Don't you worry. I hope yes. the viewers can see I'm giving you it back. Uh, I think the viewers know for a fine fact <coughs> you wouldn't get out with it. But never mind. Thank you very I'll much. I'll bring a little bag next time. Oh, I'll leave Vicky out of it. I mean, it's just... <laughs> so I can carry it out. 
Yes, I know it's on YouTube, <coughs> Brutalist. Uh, actually, I did I <coughs> caught some um, of the video that's been done by Phil Basado and um, the, va the vaping Greek, um, Dimitri. And from what I've seen, it's well worth a watch. It'll make the, the, back, the back of your neck, the hairs on the back of your neck will stand on end. Um, there's some cracking stuff been going on over there at ECC. I like that. I like that. It's, uh, it's all good. Um, we probably need to take some adverts and then move into mall gear because this is all interesting as well. This is, I'm getting quite experimental in my old age. We'll take the first set of ads and we'll be back in two minutes. Don't go anywhere or if you do, make sure you come back. We'll not be speaking through these. Safer6.co.uk sponsors of the Haze Hour. And we're back in the room. Now, I've just been told by Chris that the, the, the main camera, the one that's, that's, that you're looking at us on now, occasionally goes into auto focus mode uh, with the vapor that Keith and I are blowing out. I um, apologize for that, it's my fault, silly boy. Should have set it to manual mode and haven't. Will do for next time. If I, I daresn't try and daresn't. There's a Geordieism. Daresn't. I daresn't, hey, I daresn't try and do it <laughs> now. Who fear I get around and ask? I would try and do it now, but I'm not guaranteed to get it right. And I've got to change all of the settings to do it. So I'll have that done for next week. You have my word on that. Um, he said, looking straight down at the other camera, which will also do the same, but I will. It'll all be set right for uh, for next week. That's that's guaranteed. Um, mall sigs, you know, shopping malls. Oh, yes. Like the galleries. The galleries, yes. Exactly, like the galleries. Well, you know, there was a, <coughs> there was a little uh, barra yes. outside the in shops which was A-Lights. Yes. It's not there now. No, it's been replaced by something else. It's been replaced by VIP. Oh, now all I noticed was a completely different setup with quite a crowd round, so I didn't pick up what it was when I was in there last week. Yeah, it was, uh, it was VIP A6 that were down there, because I went, I went down with Jill last week when I needed to go and get some meat, as you do. And I was expecting to see the A Light stand there because the last time I'd spoken to the people that were running it, bearing in mind that it's a franchise, the A Lights thing, yeah. um, they didn't seem to be that up to speed on what was going on in Brussels. And I was going to ask them whether anything had anything further had come out because A Lights have been very, very proactive in all of the campaigning and what have you that's going on. Tireless, mm -hmm. in fact, right. and, um, they've been fabulous. They have been fabulous. They've never stopped. 
they've been going like good ones. And I kind of take it away from them. You can't, nobody can criticise them for the work they've put in. They've been absolutely brilliant. But got there, and there it was, VIP. So naturally, I thought, ooh, we'll have a look. So I did, and I got quite a shock. Oh, you see, I, I just thought he liked to change their, their stand. As I say, I couldn't see, um, because there were quite a few people around... Uh, Ran looking at them all. Well, yeah, I mean, when, when we were down there, they weren't short of people coming and looking, and they weren't short of people buying either. And like I say, I got quite a surprise, because I'd, I'd fully expected that it would be lucky ladies. So or, what, do you, what do you think's happened to e cigs then? e lights. I don't Sorry, know. e, e lights. I've, I have no clue. And really, I mean, that's... I don't know whether it's moved elsewhere in the galleries, or whether they've taken their franchise elsewhere, or whether their contract had run out and they decided not to carry on with it or what, I just don't know and, and can't really right. speculate. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, while we were there, um, I had a, a look and I got quite a surprise because I thought it was going to be lucky ladies mm -hmm. because most of these mall sellers appear to be mostly lucky ladies, you know? Yes. Blow me down. They had some, but they were kind of not off to one side, but they weren't the focus of attention. Instead, they had what they're calling their proton range. And, and this is a, a proton V5 clay remiser. It's a twin pack, but there's only one in it. And there's only one in it because Jill's got the other one. Right. And she won't give us it back. Right. Which is interesting in and of itself. Um, I'll unwrap it. it. It's kind of a CE5, I think, but it's not a style I've come across, I've got to be honest. And I'm doing that because I've lost all my fingernails. And and this, this is the beastie. And the first thing you'll notice is these two... I'll try and get a little bit closer if I can. There we go. It's got two whittle holes which you can see into because the light is pretty good so you can see there's a bit of wire going up there and there's wick up on the inside of that which you'll be able to see from this side so it's kind of a shrouded ce4 ce3 or ce3 kind of thing um and it's, it's quite an interesting construction it looks to me that this bottom end here is fixed in place which I don't, well, hang on. Yeah, that's not gonna, it's not gonna unscrew. He said, getting his hand in the way all over the place. That doesn't unscrew, so when it's done, it's done. When it's had it, you've got to replace it. But it's the usual, usual fill routine. And I'm so far out of kilter here, I am gonna have to zoom out a little. Um, and while I was getting that, I got some RY4 as well from them. To try all right which i thought i might we're gonna we'll try that a little bit later on um so here's the bottle fully child proofed with all of the the requirements that it should have all of the uh the little notices nobody under 18 all the rest of that vip the little raised triangles on there as well you can't see it but i can feel it it's just there um with nicely a little snipey end on it which is all good um now, one of the things I've got to point out, the guy that was running the stand had been made aware that they've had one or two duff ones of these uh, cartos. And so, before he would let me buy them, and he didn't know who I was or anything like that, I wasn't filming or anything, um, he checked them to make sure that the top would go back on correctly uh, and wouldn't cause a problem, which I thought was... Uh, was pretty damn good and what he said to do was to fill it to the 1.6 mil mark which is exactly what i've done as you'll see there and then he reckoned you probably need to let it stand for five or ten minutes to give the juice chance to wick up which again you know you, you might be able to hurry it up by twisting it about the place and so on and so forth but we'll do exactly what he says and and leave it for five to ten minutes to get itself sorted out so had you made him aware that you were an e-cig user oh he knew i was an e-cig right. user the minute i put the 134 on the glass top of the table right um 
I've lost track of what's going on in chat yes no I'd, I put I, actually, I had the black one with me um, and I had the um, the cracking on it at the time because right. the cracking you can lie it on its side and it doesn't spill juice everywhere it's not like the majority of Jenny's genocide I've come across and I just I just planted it planted that down on there and I said oh what, what you got <laughs> and he just looked and he says what the I said yeah it's an, that's 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 in it I did the yeah. As you would, the crocodile <laughs> Dundee yes. thing. You can't say that's an ace egg, mate. That's an ace egg. And he said, bloody hell. There's, he says, there's one of the lads in here that mods his own stuff. And I thought, whoa, whoa, just a second. Hang on, what's going on here? We've got somebody on a mall ace egg stand talking about mods right. and understands what a mod is. Um, hang on. And he talked to this guy more. And sure enough, the cleaner security cleaner guard uh -huh. man in whatever it was right. came across and turns out he watches vapor trail so if you're watching hi All right. um and he said uh, oh he says yeah one three four i wanted to get my mitts on one of them. and oh it's the cracking on it and and it saw this 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 th there was a whole load of people trying to buy stuff and they're all going uh, where can I get, uh, blah, blah, blah. and they're saying oh i want one that looks like a sig and jill was stood there and she gets hers out <laughs> You do it really, she says. <laughs> so the, they were buying these photon um, outfits. It's an Ego battery. It's uh, 1100 milliamp hours, so it's a big Ego battery that you get in the kit. They were buying them, just buying them on pace. Looking at the ciggies, cigar lakes, and go, ah, actually, no, I want one that doesn't look like a cigarette. So was the pricing competitive? Um, these are running around about nine pounds a piece. I don't know whether that's competitive or not. Right probably isn't massively competitive but it's handy yes and the reason I'm saying that it's handy is well you know you know at the minute Jill kind of she gets onto something that she likes yes and she'll stay on it and even something that she used to like but she likes the new thing better if she's run out of the new thing that she likes better she'll not necessarily use the old thing that she used to like yes Yes, I, I know where you're coming from there. Yes, yes. It, this is, it is yes. what it is. I was going to say it's a lady thing, but there's too many ladies watching and I want to keep me nuts. Yes. Yes. Um, and she likes that because she won't give us it back, the other one. Ah, right. She really likes that. She's got it on the Avic and she's given it hot licks and she loves it. She reckons the flavour's gorgeous. She, she really likes it. So, of course, if I'm going to get that one which i am i'm gonna have to go back i'll have to go back and get one at vip but if she goes down to sainsbury's yeah which you know to go down to sainsbury's and she's got to pass the vip borough to get back to the car it doesn't matter which door she comes out of that's right she has yeah so of course yeah. she can buy two herself can't she of course yes oh yes oh yes yeah, it's, it's in a prominent place, yes. You're not going to miss it. So you obviously haven't tried it yet? I have, yes. I tried hers before she put the menthol in. Right. Menthol? Oh, Jill's using menthol. Oh, yeah, I know, man. I know, I know. Seriously, I've... I've it wasn't my, me. wasn't my choice. Surprised you? It scared the living daylight out of me. She's using menthol. It's not right, you know. It isn't, is it? No, no, no. I blame those people that come in. I'm still trying to get rid of the bloody menthol. Um, well, don't 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 now. don't pick Jill's up then. She's not at Sav's <coughs> levels yet. Right. No. She's got it. Look, even Leanna Lawless has said menthol. Sav. Yes, Jeff Binion's got it right. Sav's corrupted her. It's Sav <laughs> that's done the corruption. She's she's been. My wife has been corrupted by my colleagues. So now just have a peep. Yeah, have a peep. Uh -huh. Go for it. It's uh, nifty, isn't it? Yeah. It's 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 neat. It's nice. It's easy to fill. It's all good. I think it's probably soaked through by now. Stick yeah. it on. Stick it on your ego. On your um, whatever it is. Evod battery. E yes. My mind gets worse, you know. It absolutely does. My mind gets absolutely worse. It's not good. Oh, hello. Look at this. 
Yes. Oh. There it is. Oh, I'll, oh yes, you can lie that down. It's not going to spill anywhere. Yes, femoral. I would. Uh, I am waiting until Jill's has died so I can take it to bits and see what's behind oh, it. Oh no, you see. Look at that. Does that yes, fit nicely? It does. I, Very I, I, snugly. Oh, good. Very snugly. Go for it. This is virgin, hasn't been used, out of the pocket. With their RY4. And this is all. Uh, That's their RY4, yes. Which I'm here to tell you, I think, is Hang Sen. 24 milligram that. That's a nice flavour. Do you want to? I'll have a blast if you don't uh, mind. Um, and we'll see what it's like. We're gonna, we'll do the taste test on the RY4 after the, uh, yeah. the second set of ads. I can see how Jill's taken to that. That's very interesting, actually. Mm. That's nice. Mm. And it performs well. It does. Uh, somebody's just said, uh, I what? I crit my pants. I said it's filler in the stem as far as he knows. It's wick. There's a piece of wick comes down the stem. As, I've, I've, as we just showed and unfortunately it's full now so you'll not be able to see it um, but yeah what's it say good good to see some proper stuff being sold by cigarette companies though Mark Shaw says I'll agree with that um, what else have we got yes somebody has uh, femoral is saying yes I thought that we've got a VIP stall in town too it's handy um, Mark Shaw says he thinks Hanson and Decan get an unfair rap for juice. I would agree. I do like Hanson and I do like uh, Decan. Um, I don't think mm. it is dual coil. No, it's single coil. But it seems to work quite well. Tell you what we'll do. We'll take a quick, uh, <coughs> quick blast of adverts. And when we get back, we'll talk a little bit more about the RY fauness of it all. And uh, cover a few other bits and bobs as well. Bob saying, what's my RY6? My RY6 comes from vaporworld.co.uk and it's Dickhang and it's all I've used for the last, since it came out. So, now you know. And I'm with Moonlit. I really wish people wouldn't call juice oil. That, I think, oh, is yeah. a problem with, what's well, a problem with translation? Yeah. The Chinese mm. have no other word. They don't understand juice and they want to call it like a proper name, so they call it oil which it isn't, but there you go. We'll take some ads, and uh, when we get back, we'll talk a little bit more about this RY4. Um, we'll see what Keith thinks about it, and I've got it stuck in a couple of iClear 30s, and you've never tried one of them either, have you? Yeah. So it's all gonna be fun. Back in two minutes, don't go anywhere. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. 
And we're back in the room, and both Keith and I are screwing iClear 30s onto our devices, containing the RY4 at nine quid a bottle, I think it was, from VI. Oh, look, I've left the condom on me. Now, that, that mouthpiece swivels on the iClear 30. And oh, these are real ones oh as well. yes, I've never seen that before. Ah, you see. Man on the clap omnibus. Wish I could get... Oh, that'll have sucked something through. Not sure what. Uh, have you seen that before? Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been using these for a little while. Quite like them. Aye. So I've put I've put the um, the VIP RY4 out of this bottle into the iClear 30s. I should show you the box as well. One thing I didn't see, you've got all of this. Please read before use. I'll read it because while well, you're using it, I know it's a bit late, but never mind. Um, it has an EC label. EC200 193-3, so it's registered. Active ingredients, nicotine, 2.4% per milliliter. Other ingredients, water, propylene glycol, glycerol, and VIP flavors. And then the usual uh, storage. Um, store it between 18 and 20. I mean, it's, 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 it's a bit small. Yes. But, but it's readable. Um, it's all good stuff. So this is the VIP RY4. And it's not like, I don't think it's like the original RY4. What do you make of it? Well, I can sense a difference in the flavour with this than I could with that. I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. different. Isn't there? Very different. Very, very different. Um, oh, I crit's asking questions in chat and chat's keeping them. I'm impressed with that, that yeah. juice. You like it? With, yeah. Like I say, I think it's around about nine quid a bottle. And he did say... It's a pound more expensive than you would get it off the website. Yes. But if you bought it off the website and you had to pay the postage, the postage it's actually four yeah. pound cheaper. Right. So, um, handy. And I've got to say, I've been, well, go back to close Yucky Calm. Folks will see how much is, is out. If I turn it around, you can see how full it is. It's about 15 mils out of it. Um, and we were down, I can't remember when it was, I think it was Monday we went down. Um, so I've had it since Monday and I've, I've actually put it into, um, what did I put it into? I put it into the Fogatti. Right. And it's different again in the Fogatti. Um, but what, what flavours are you getting out of it? It is a toasted flavour. Slightly nutty. Yeah. Just trying to find the right wattage for this, and I'm thinking yeah, it's going to do it. Oh, that's producing. Mm. Just to answer, answer funny trickster, um, the RY6 that Surface Sig sells is Decang, is not Decang, is um, Hangson. And the RY6 that Vapor World sells is Decang. The Decang one is nowhere near as tobacco y as the Surface Sigs one. The Surface Sigs one's very, very much like a Rolly, I think. Um, and it's very pleasant if that's the kind of flavour that you like. The Decang one is more, it's, 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 it's not, it's, it's the, you know that fake tobacco that's in um, E-Sigs when you first start, when you yes. first get a starter kit. It's that kind of tobacco that's in the, the, in the Decang one, because that's what I specified. Um, so it, th there is difference chalk and cheese. I wouldn't have said that the two were right. similar at all. Right. Um, each has their own adherence. I, I like the Hang Sen one from Surface Eggs, but it's not something I could use all of the time because it's, it's too redolent, too reminiscent of cigarettes for me. Oh, right. Really. This, I think, is Hang Sen. I'm getting shed loads of vanilla shed loads of vanilla and loads and loads of caramel i'm detecting the caramel i think more than the vanilla <coughs> there's more caramel it's a toffee caramel mm. more more of that than there is the vanilla there's still there's a lot of vanilla in there it's, I can, it's very pleasant um and there's a, a good hint of tobacco yes nice tobacco yes. it's like um 
It's like licking the, the, the wrapper on a King Ted, if you've ever smoked a King Ted cigar. It's that kind There's of tobacco taste. There's certainly a good taste. tobacco aftertaste. Mm. It's... Kronos is saying that Hang Sen's RY4 tastes like golden syrup sponge pudding to him, and it does to me as well. I found that very, very caramel, ah, very toughy. Yes. This is, this is, it's very similar. Moonlit's asking, do people generally lick cigar wrappers? Yeah. Part of the enjoyment. Do you, you, if I had one, I would show you, but I haven't, well, I couldn't do it with it. I haven't got anything. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Well, you lick it before you smoked it. If that's the cigar butt, you would always, I'll have to go to, uh, go to camera three for this one, with the cigar butt, you would always. Otherwise, it would stick to your lips. Give it a good lick. Enjoy it. And then, as Keith says, it doesn't stick to your lips. What you don't do is that. That's just wrong. Mm. On so many levels, it's, it wouldn't be just wouldn't be right to do. Well, I think I'll get myself some of that. <laughs> Why have they all said mind bleach? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yes, it's uh, it's not taught like a pirate day, like it was on World Vietnam Day. Otherwise, we could call it R Y four. Yes, tobacco. What? No, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. It would have been in the chat's gone up shit. Uh, gone, yes. <laughs> Liviathan says he would have died a happy man without seeing Dave do that. I'm pleased to have been, pleased to have been of service to you. I really am. It's, uh, it's rather nice. Yeah. <laughs> and John Diver said you can never unsee that. <laughs> Professional and slick this show, you know, isn't it? Like yeah, that, uh, yes, I'm just sort of waxing lyrical over it. it it's nice that I, I think I'll get myself some next time I'm in the galleries. Well, seeing as how it's you and seeing as how I know you, you can keep that eye clear 30 with that RY4 in. That'll keep you going till you get to the galleries. Oh, that's very kind. I know I am. I'm really. A, what? I don't, oh. I can imagine some of the comments that'll come across about that. Well, I can imagine they will, but uh, Matt Clock has just said it's just as well I didn't do a lung inhale on the uh, the dingo. <laughs> and now everybody's going to come up with something about sucking a dingo. Just don't. Yeah. <laughs> just just don't. Really. There's no need. There's no need. Um, but I, I'd had picked the dingo up for a reason. Uh, because I've got something else for you to try tonight as well. What are those names? Right. <coughs> it's a smock tech Vivinova, but it's a Pyrex Vivinova. Let's uh, go to closer up you can and stick it in there. It is, it's a cart or tank. It is what it is. Has a little viewing windows in there. Um, this is one that I took away with me on holiday. And I'm here to tell you, it did a cracking job. It was absolutely cracking all the time. I've got it on the dingo. Um, and I've turned <coughs> again. I've turned it right down. Have a blast with that and see what you think. I'll hold on to that one. Well, actually, you can put that in there. It's sure portable. Now you can put the button anywhere you like. But that's that's the smock one, um, the smock Pyrex Vivinova, uh, which is mm. ding. Oh God, they're off. Dingo, dingo is the word. Dingo, nothing else but dingo. Um, there's Keith Khan. So that's din, but will you stop at you lot? Honestly, chat's going crackers here. Dingbo, ding ding, dingo. Don't mix a dingo with a bo bo, you learn with a bo ding or a dingbo. That, that, that's pretty effortless, isn't, isn't it? it though? Did the bo bo go, but the dingo did. Oh, stop it, Kronos. So is this RY6 in this? Yes. Would Dave do that to V does as Bobo though? Oh man. <laughs> There's been a yes. suggestion made that we should play the music from <coughs> the Hamlet advert, but if we did, YouTube would have us. Doom, 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 doom. That certainly doom. is uh, 
Yes. I like that. Uh huh. Mm. You do, do you? Oh, do you? It was uh, predicted you would like it. Mm. Yes. Nice. Nice. Air on a G string. Tis. That's the Hamlet advert. Air on a G string. Yes. Funny Trickster is translating for you so that everybody else understands. Keith, I want that. That's what it means. <laughs> Give it back, Keith. <laughs> Pocketed Keith, it's a darn <laughs> God. <laughs> God. I think, I think they know you. Yes. I, I crit so, my yeah. pants, says never ask an Eskimo if he's blown a seal. Um, <laughs> it's, there's nothing wrong with classical music on YouTube, Lee. Uh, Leanna Lawless is asking what's wrong with that. It's the fact is, if we've got um, commercial music in there, the, the, the doohickeys, the, the, the software that runs YouTube spots it and it, it puts a black mark against us. We get, um, I forget what they're called now, but we've got to jump through hoops to see a really, license to use it and really stuff like showing that. showing our rage on the Hamlet advert, Just a bit, we? just a bit. Um, are you XSAS? Midge Dog thinks you are. And apparently Gizmotronic says, Keith, in a G-string, <laughs> um... No! <laughs> Has bigger pockets. And there, is, is that right? Is it true, as Disco Days says, is it true that Keith wears shirts with bigger pockets when he's on VTTV? I have some shirts with no pockets at all. It's true, and he never wears the buggers when he's on here. <laughs> oh, now I have. Let's be fair. Oh, Lord. I want the mind bleach now. Gary Wood has brought up the picture of Keith in a mankini. A mankini. A mankini. Right. What's a mankini? <laughs> Have you you'd say like that? A bikini, a man's bikini. It, well, oh. you, 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 just think, yes, no, just, it, it's it's a budgie hammock. Oh, with, right. With suspenders. Oh, right, I've never come across one of those. Well, you don't want to come across one. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. It's. <laughs> Do you know that Milton we talked about the other week? I. <laughs> it cleanses the mind as well, you know. Sorry. What did you do? Pat you on the back? Does that help? Or? <coughs> Give him a kick. <coughs> What's that? Give him a kick. A kick? Oh, oh. Chris, <laughs> can you can you send Sav round with the mind bleach, please? It's just tears. More than mind bleach. <laughs> yeah, bugger. <coughs> oh, Lord. I think it's the cider. Is that what it is? It must be. Yeah, well, it's not Dickens. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yes, as uh, as as Feverell says, moving <laughs> moving on. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Yeah. I haven't even got any video to play in. <sighs> ah, right. Calm down. Right. So what we're saying? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we were saying. Go on. Very good. <laughs> yes. It, it, and, uh, I'm sorry. I need a drink. <laughs> I can't help myself. It's not my fault. I blame you, Keith. You always do. <coughs> ah. Yes. Right. Yes. Um, Vivi Nova saw replaceable coils in a see-through windowy tank that'll suit you. Um, I do quite like that, I have to say. I, I'm, in fact, Chris, can you unmute yourself? Mm -hmm. You've gone off genocide, haven't you? I have. She's gone I off. Have. She's gone off genocide. Tell everybody why. There's so much fuss and palaver to put together, and frankly, these days when you've got things like the Pro Tag, Vivinova, whatever, Evod, they're just so easy, and you get the flavour comes through straight away. Um, so I can't be bothered. I mean, I got a pro tank about six, seven weeks ago. 
and I haven't changed the coil or anything. It just goes on and on and on. They, they do. I mean, that uh, pro tank you had yes. ran six, seven, eight weeks yes. before we changed the coil. Yeah, ages. Um, somebody's asking whether I know anything about the new BDC. No, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I, to be honest, I, I've been quite up the eyeballs with uh, talking MAPs and, and all of that kind of stuff and, and trying to keep abreast of what's going on. So I'm not really up to speed with what's happening in the market at the moment, for, to, to my shame, to my everlasting shame. And I making know, Swedish films. And making, part, well, and making Swedish films and stuff <coughs> like that, yes. Yeah. So I know I've let myself down, I've let my family down, I've let the side down and I've let the team down. I do apologise. But I'll, seriously, when this is... I wish it was. What Andy Sutton was saying the other day on Time Talk, he wishes it was all over and we would just get back to normal. Amen to that. Amen. Swedish films. Products and Swedish films. Yes. 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 No, Whip It Up 69. Dave Dawn is not a porn star name. <sighs> Chris, mm -hmm. can you not sort of chat out? No, I quite like the, some of the comments that they're saying. Okay, fair enough. Dave was in an Abba cool. video. Well, well, apparently we need to set, check out the scrape, which is much better looking on a dingo than Dave's lips. Not sure how to take that one. I've heard of that. I haven't seen it, but I've heard of it. Yeah, I've, I've heard of it, not seen it. But right. I must admit, I mean, between these various tanks and the spheroid, I've become the most lazy vapour again. It's just a case of change the battery, fill it up, and away you go. That's me set for another couple of days. Yes. She's right, Tank. She's not wrong. I mean, you know, I, I've got to be honest. I, I do I do like me genocide when I'm looking for mega quantities of vapour. And this, particularly, I've got to say, the Kraken, I can take it anywhere. And it just doesn't leak. I can't say the same about many others. But I have found myself more and more when I've been going out having either an iClear 30 or, you know, Pro Tank or uh, any of the various different, I call them semi rebuildables because you can put new coils in. Yeah, yeah. Um, they do seem to, to make life an awful lot simpler. There's not quite the pride of ownership, I've got to say, but I'm now starting, you know, somebody mentioned. Whip it up, asking what's so different about the crack and that it doesn't leak. It's the construction of the thing. The air hole gets blocked. The air hole down into the uh, into the tank gets blocked when you put the cap on. So it's very difficult for anything to, to, to drop out. And I've not had a leak out of it at all. Zero. Nada. None. And yet it wicks like an absolute beast. Um, it's, it's a delight to use. I really do like it. Um, where was I? Well, these things have got their place. I mean, the, the rebuildables, when you're in that mood that you want to just faff on with something, if your mind's full of stress or worry or whatever, you just want to relax, a rebuildable comes into its own. Oh, it's fabulous to just sit and recoil and try new coil. Yeah, I was trying quite to, agree. Yeah, I was trying to build a Tin Man coil the other day because I was watching a video on that and that's something I'm going to have to video up when I find out how to do it with the ribbon. But I need wider ribbon, I think. Um, because I, well, my eyesight's terrible. It's not good. Well, I've got the ribbon. I'm not very good with it, I have to admit. I lose my patience with that. Mm. But a little bit of 0.2 canthal and away you go. Exactly right. It's horses for courses, but as I say, if I'm out and about, I have I've got no problem at all taking the eye clears, taking the uh, the Vivinova, especially that one because I, I I like the look of that. It's it's nice. Well, yeah. companies like Inakin are really coming into their own, aren't they? I believe so. Some yes. Some beautiful things coming from Inakin. Oh well, there's some there's some kit coming out from Inakin shortly. Uh, the the oh lord, what is it called? I want to see a TVM, but that's not it. Oh, yeah, I know the one you mean. Yeah, I, I've, I've got to get my mitts on one of those because that just looks so nice. 
VTR. Is That's the one, the VTR. Um, and the uh, the Mini 134s, I've got to have them. And apparently, thank you, uh, I've been told the pictures are being tweeted at me, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. They'll be there for everybody to see, and I'll I'll do the retweet thing. Should tell everybody, I've got to see it. If you're not on Twitter, get on Twitter. It's it's the place to be. The information that's flying about. I mean, we've had a good giggle over today because you know how the Daily Mail has been absolutely going nuts about the truth paper. The truth paper. Yes. What's it been? The, the, the Daily Mail. Oh, they've. they've so they've been bouncing up and down on ASICs. They've been really bashing ASICs over the last few weeks. Really? Bugger me. I didn't know that. Uh, well, they've started selling them now. <laughs> well, I'm sure the um, the mail on Sundays have page adverts. Well, going back a long time. They, they keep on repeating all of the crap that you get out of the likes of Stanton Glance and, and all these other idiots that are. Uh, the latest ones, Martin Martin McKee, who he he wants something shoving up his anal passage. He does. I mean, just ideological claptrap. It really is. Um, and they keep on. I don't know why. Nobody knows who is at the foot of it. Who? Who? I don't know. Nobody knows. What could you possibly mean? Well, nobody knows who. So is it is one behind particular it. journalist? No, <coughs> no, nobody really knows who it is. Keith, look, look at the screen. They seem to type it in in capitals. W H O. Who? That's who is behind it. Um, yeah, they've they've been banging on for donkeys ages that it's you know e cigs are they terrible. They'll, they'll put great big lumps on your forehead and spots on the end of your nose and right. your, your, your dingler will fall off and all kinds of, oh, the terrible things. And now they're selling them. Mm. On what? that note, I'm afraid I have to remind you, two and a half minutes it over. Are we? Steaming. Good Lord it's above. After 10 yes. Good How grief. time flies when you're having fun. It yes. definitely does. Thank you for reminding me, Chris, because I'd get wrong off Chris if you hadn't told me, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, hey, it's best to know which side of, which side of your bread's buttered. It's the bit that hits well, the floor. With you having these sort of sporadic bits where you lost control, you, you, we've lost a sense of time. Oh, you mean uh, laughing? Sorry, I thought you meant... Can I wet. end this with a, a little comment here from Moonlit? You can. He says, I don't know how the world, they could say they're not healthy poor organisation in my opinion to have ads in there along with the articles he's a clever well lad said. that's very very well said <laughs> and on that note can I say a big thank you to Keith and to Kat for joining me tonight and an even bigger thank you to all of you for tuning in and watching whether you're watching live or whether you're watching video on demand you have no idea how much we appreciate your company and how much we enjoy your company for these hours of daft carry on that we have hope it's been slightly informative um, hope you've enjoyed it if you have tune in for more don't forget straight after this Daz will be spinning up the wheels of steel and uh, bringing you some nice music that's nice music tomorrow night RY4 Radio will have Tim doing similar sorts of things but with totally non-politically correct chat and then f Saturday night everybody's got a night off to date night but Sunday night the team will be tackling Dave's box at nine o'clock. On Monday, it'll be Tim Your Tip with Gary and Mark. Lord only knows what they're doing. I'm, I'm assured this week it's naked modding with broken bones and blood, so don't forget to tune in. Tuesday night, the team is back yet again uh, to tackle Vapor Scene, followed by DE Talk, and then next Wednesday night, it's VT Talk, and I'll be back with you with Sav and possibly some guests then. Until we see you next time, from all of us here, vape on, vape hard, nil carborundum illegitimi, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.
Sapers Eggs, sponsors of the Haze Hour. <laughs> 